Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us and today I'm making some chicken noodle soup. So um, it's a good time of the year for everyone's got colds and the flu and all those things going around and this is so good and so healthy for you. So the first thing I did was I made my own stock and what I did was I just took all the scraps from all of this um, and threw it in the pot with the whole chicken and seasonings and made my own stock. So look at how beautiful this stock is. When you stir it, look at those deep colors. And I just strained it really good. This one looks even darker. This is all from one pot, but I haven't um, strained like the grease off, like when you set it in the fridge overnight and get all the grease off, but a little grease is okay. It ain't gonna hurt nobody. But um, now I'm gonna um, break up my chicken and I've cut up um, a, a red, oh sorry, a red onion, a white onion, the tops of the green onion, the green onion at the bottom, the scallions, carrots, celery, and parsley, because those are all good for you, healthy nutrients. And so what we're gonna start with first is over here, I got a pot and, uh, oh, and we're having bow tie uh, noodles. But in the pot, we're gonna start with some olive oil. And I just want you to put a big glug in there, a couple of tablespoons. And um, then we're going to start with our onions. All right, guys. We're letting that get hot. And this is the secret to making a good soup is um, you got to get... It's going to be hard for me to do this, but let's see if I can do it like this. You got to get... Um, flavors all the way through all right guys just bear with me for a minute while i put these in there <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to use all that white onion because I, that was a huge onion so let's see mm, looking good and you can put garlic in right now if you want if you like which would be good after these cook for about two or three minutes let me put my red onions in. I guess I should have put these all in a little, the cute little bowls that I do. <laughs> but let's put those in there. We're going to use all the red onions and the bottoms of the green onions. And I like to put the green, the top to the green onions on top of my soup. This is all over the place. <laughs> But you guys know my videos always are. Okay. So just keep giving those a stir. And when I put in my spices, or in my soup, where my spices were um, onion powder, garlic powder, some red pepper flake, some green, or green, some parsley, sea salt, or I'm sorry, kosher salt, and just black pepper. So I put all those already in my stock. Do all the everything, you know, the carrot bottoms, the tops, the everything from the celery, um, the scraps, basically. And I put all those uh, in the pot with fill this this pot right here. Fill it to the top with water and put the whole chicken in there. So see the flavor we're bringing out of all of these? And then we're gonna add our carrots. Let's get those in there. Oops, sorry guys. And then we're gonna get our celery in there. Yeah, guys, I'm right here. <laughs> Look at that view. And some of our parsley's going in as well, but that's okay. We're mostly going to put it in first, but I'm good. Some of it getting in there right now is all right with me. So just give that a stir and let that cook down for about maybe 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. 
Um, all right, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, the next we're time. back. Let's add a little pepper. Probably about a tablespoon or more because I like a lot of pepper. Same with your salt. About a good tablespoon. And um, I know it didn't look like I put a whole tablespoon, but if you were starting this from scratch, I would put a whole tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper. And I'm going easy on mine right now because my my broths are very seasoned, so your broth may not be that seasoned because I might have over-seasoned a little bit. Because <laughs> I always overdo everything a little bit. But anyway, um, so yeah, a, tea a tablespoon of each for a big pot like this, if you're making it this big. And I started to say I'm using the farfalli, and those are um, butterfly noodles, but... You can use um, any noodles you want. You can even use spaghetti and make it like real like chicken noodle soup from those cans. <laughs> and uh, just keep stirring this and sauteing it. You should see just how exactly how it smells so good from the aromas of these. Because these are, are very um, aromatic um, flavorings that you put into everything to make taste good. So um, after that's going to keep cooking, while that's doing that, I'm going to be over here shredding. I kind of chunk my chicken because I don't really like mine shredded, shredded. That feeling of like um, like long pieces, I like chunks. But anyway, so I'm going to do that while that's happening, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, okay, so, um, guys. what I have here is four cups of broth. We're going to put that in our pot. And look at those colors. Look at how deep that color is. And then what I'm going to do is put four cups of water. Or, yeah, about four cups of water. Okay. And that looks pretty good. And uh, then I'm going to get the chicken shredded and we'll get the okay, chicken. Okay, guys, I decided I needed more broth. So I got, I don't know, there's about three and a half, maybe close to four. So this is going to be a big pot. And I'm going to freeze a lot of this. So I needed more broth. Ooh, did you see all those goodies that went in at the end? And then I'm going to put some more water. Probably about another good four cups because this is making a lot of soup. We had one whole chicken. Um, let me finish that so I can finish telling you guys. Okay, so let's see if we're going to use all four of these. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Okay, so I used one whole chicken, which was only like $4.50 in the grocery store. A whole chicken. And um, here I have it shredded up, but I have some more to shred. But to get this video going, I just, you know got that much done but I gotta <laughs> go after that carcass a little bit more I'll show you I got some more to go with him <laughs> yeah he's got more meat on him so I'm gonna get some more off of him and then I still have my parsley and green onions okay so we're gonna let this cook for about a good hour which our chicken already cooked in the pot that we made the stock so it's about 80% cooked, but it's going to cook a little, you know, a little bit more in here because there was a tiny bit of pink left. But look at that. How beautiful. And then by the time we put the parsley and the green onions, and while I was off camera, I gave it a little taste. So let me see. I'm doing this left-handed for some reason. I don't know. Mm. What I like to do is I like to make my farfalle my noodles in um, a separate pan and keep them separate so that they don't turn to mush in the soup and just put a little bit of olive oil on them when they're done uh, drain them I'll show you that part when we get there but and then you can just keep them on the stove and keep them warm okay so now this just has to cook for a little bit and in the meantime I'm gonna clean up some of my mess and uh, I was gonna tell you guys how I started this all out I put the whole chicken in frozen in this pot covered it with water and put all the seasonings 
two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of dried parsley, a little um, hot pepper flakes, sprinkled some on. And then I also um, did um, some two tablespoons of salt, two, two tablespoons of black crushed black pepper. So I put all that in there. And then I put all the scraps. I was telling you in the beginning of the other video. I actually, I took all the insides of the celery, put them in there. The leaves, everything. Threw that in there. The bottom, the stalk, everything. Then I took two carrots, just cut them up, threw them in there. Then I put all the strips to, when I um, cut the carrots, put them in there. And I put uh, two red onions and one large white onion. Just put them in there. Didn't even chop them up. Just put them in their skins and all. Cut them in half, you know, so they get opened up so they can get all the, you know, stuff in there. But, you know, I just gave them a rough little chop, you know. And then I got my stock. I put it through my mesh strainer, which you guys can see my mess in my kitchen. Just sat it over the stove like this and poured it in there. And like I was saying, I poured it in this one. And I did it in like three different containers just trying to keep, you know, it all together here in this container. So we used three of them. And then I put it all in the garbage. I would show it to you, but it's so it's kind of gross, you know. And uh, <laughs> it's all in the trash. And, um... You can just take anything out of your refrigerator and throw it in there. Like, um, I had some peppers. I threw them in there. You know, and just a bunch of whatever you have around. Oh, the parsley. The parsley that you're not going to use for the recipe. The stems. Throw that in there. Um, some tomatoes. If you have tomatoes, you can put them in there. But okay. So now we're going to let this cook for about an hour. With, with half broth and half water. And so we got everything in there. We're going to let that cook for an hour. We're going to serve this up with the pasta and some Italian bread because you got to have some kind of bread or something to go with it. So um, let this come to a boil and then let just let it simmer until your vegetables are tender. And um, then at the end you can um, put your parsley in and your green onions and it'll be ready to serve and it's going to be so delicious and it already smells amazing. The whole house smells so good. And, uh, so yeah, so give us a try. I'll be back, show you when we're at the tender, uh, the, when the vegetables are tender. Okay, so this is what your soup should be looking like right now. And you should try to make sure you get, you know, in every bite, some chicken, some onions, some, you know, celery. And I'm going to freeze a lot of this, but I'm going to show you how to do that too. So stay Okay, tuned. guys, I'm back. Um. Our doodle, our, our <laughs> sorry, I got tongue twisted there. Our vegetables, which I got tongue tied on in the last part too, are just about fork tender, and you can see how beautiful they look. And then I have a pan over here with um, salted water in it, get ready for the pasta to come to a boil. But while we're waiting on that, I'm going to show you guys. Um, like I said, I still had. Um, I got the parsley to put in in the, in the green tops, and I got a little doggy bag there for Justice and Frank, my son's dog. <laughs> but so, um, I'm going to show you how I store my stock. If you don't have these, you know, little containers or whatever you use, you know, that's freezer proof, you can use any of these things. They all work, you know. You don't have to have special containers. But what I do is I just give this a stir. Oops, I'm <laughs> not even over there. Give that a stir because you look at the difference. Oh, look at how dark that is. And then what you do is you just take this beautiful ladle and fill it up. And just put it in your freezer for the next time you get ready to make, say, chicken soup. Um, I was going to say vegetable soup. <laughs> um, any kind of soup, you know. You just put your stock in there. You could use this for... Your, um, for gravy, you could use this for turkey a la king, anything like that. Don't fill it too high because you got to leave room for expansion for when it turns to ice. And I mean, look at all the stock that we got from that one chicken. I'm probably going to get like maybe six containers of these. I got a small one for a smaller meal, larger ones for larger meals. Plus all that we did with this, 
um, for this and then these are all going to be going into containers also to go for our um, so also um, I'll be back in a couple minutes and we'll be ready to serve up some delicious hot soup. okay we're back guys and let me just show you when you get ready to um, do your pasta you need a big good rapid oil and my pasta calls oh, 12 to 14 minutes so I'm gonna set my timer for 10 I'm gonna get my fingers out of there I'm gonna set that for 10 Oop. <laughs> and then that way and give it a good stir and that way you'll get it to al dente, which just means um, to the tooth, which just means with a little bite to it. And that's why I love these little um, butterflies or farfalle, they call them Italian, because they have a little bite to them for that little difference and they're bigger on the outside and tinier in the, you know, so it gives you a different contrast, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But here's our soup over here. Everything's tender and ready to go. So since we only have, and then oh, and then give your soup another stir, and you never have to add oil, just salt. And see, once you give that a stir for about a minute, which see a minute's gone by, and then get your green onions and put those in. And the beautiful parsley. Look at that. And I didn't use that whole onion, so I'll just put it in the refrigerator and use it for something else, like maybe in eggs or something tomorrow. Or anything you choose. And then what I do is I usually give my pasta one more stir, and then two minutes have gone by, and you don't have to touch that pasta again until that timer goes off. Okay. And look at that beautiful. Mm. Can't wait till dinner's ready. Okay, so everything's all set, and I'll be back. Okay, to serve guys. It up. So my pasta cooked for exactly 11 minutes, and then I just drained it. And I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of olive oil, not very much. You just need enough to keep it from sticking in there. Maybe a tiny drop more. That didn't even <laughs> register, did it? It's hard for me to do it and see. Okay, maybe not even a teaspoon. Let's go with a teaspoon. So that should be ready so it doesn't stick. Okay, so what we're going to do, since we're at a different step here, um, you can put this right in your soup, but I'm not doing mine like that, so I'm going to put a little bit in there. And then we're going to come over here. Whoops. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, I got everything all cleaned up. Um, before I serve up my dish, I got everything all cleaned up. And what I did was I cleaned up everything. I got my stock all ready to go in the freezer once they cool down. I got my onions to go in the fridge. So, And I did all my dishes. The only thing I have to do is wash this um, strainer in this one bowl that I was using. And then this pot, after it, you know, gets done and cools down and all that, you know. So let's bring this over. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to... Ooh, mm. And then let's get a big thing of the juice. Mmm, the broth, I should say. And then... <laughs> Let's get a little bit more, because I am hungry. Because I've been waiting for this to get finished. Look at that. So now you got the pasta all ready. So when you, someone comes in to get a pot, you get a scoop of that and your scoop of um, soup. And then, of course, I need a pinch of salt and pepper. So let's do that. And I like to put a little bit of... Um, Parmesan cheese, so just sprinkle a tiny bit of that over your soup, as much as you like. I don't like too much, but some people like a, you know, whatever, what you like. Got a nice piece of Italian bread. 
of course. Look at that. That's going to be my thumbnail. Oh, and I can't forget, I love my red pepper flakes. So, everybody might not want that in their soup, but I like it in mine. And look at that. Let's just taste the broth first. Mmm. And let's get a little noodle, carrot, and onion, <laughs> a celery, if we can do that. There we go. Get a little bit of everything. This is going to be hot, so bear with me for a minute. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then I've been drinking this. Um, iced tea and lemonade, you know, half and half that I love. And I usually don't recommend any drinks but water and tea because that's all I drink. But this is actually not that bad for you because I don't like sodas. And I think a lot of the processed drinks in the stores are horrible for adults and especially for children. But this one's not bad. And it's um, the calorie and stuff's on the back's not bad. Um, I think it's 50 calories for half of this, and it's only got 14 grams of carbs. And then I like to take a hunk of the crust and dip it in there, and that's the best part. Let it soak in there. Look at that. Don't you want a bite of that? And I love those sesame seeds. Look at that. Bite into that. Mmm. <laughs> oh, and with the butter. So good, so delicious. I want you guys all to give this a try. And remember what I said, get your kitchen all cleaned up. So now you can just go sit down and eat. And you just got a few things to take care of after you're done eating. Okay, guys, so give this a try. I know my videos are kind of all over the place, but this soup is delicious. And my mom used to make this for us when we were kids. And I've been making it for my kids for years, too. And we would always, um, you can do this with um, the elbow macaroni. The pastina, my mom used to use those tiny little pastinas, or whatever ones you choose to do. Let's give us a bite with we'll some chicken on there and a, and a celery. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Take that bite. Look at that. Yum, yum. Mm. <laughs> oh. And guys, put whatever you want in here. Put some green beans, you know, put corn, add tomatoes, put whatever things you like. And uh, I'll probably eat this for a couple of days. And tomorrow I might put green beans in there when I'm warming it up or, you know, just different things. And you got a great little meal again for tomorrow. Put these in little containers like these and or big ones for the freezer in sizes like this. And if you don't have those, just use whatever you got. Take them to work the next day, have them for lunch, you know, dinner, you know, bring your neighbors some. But yeah. Okay, guys. Um, and don't forget, don't forget to dip that bread in there because that's the best part of everything. <laughs> that's everything. Mmm. That's my problem. The soup's healthy, but I like to eat a lot of the bread. <laughs> well, anyway, share this if you if you um or like this and share it. Comment below. And stay tuned for more. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe today. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.